scrappy friends how are you guys doing oh my gosh it's been so long right I am so sorry I will catch you up on all my lovely busyness while I talk about this layout so I am using a reinker the distress reinkers to make like a watercolor and I'm just dipping that brush I'm using a it's a coarser brush. I really like the way that it um, holds the water so it gives a really nice watercolory look. Um, and it, it does hold a lot of water, so you do kind of have to be careful because it warps the page, but I'm okay with that. And then now I'm just using some other ink, like a spray ink that I have that is shimmery, so it's a pink. I will say that I kind of wished I'd wait waited for the reinker to dry because it kind of mixed with some of the spots that were really wet and made more of like a purpley brown color well it's not really brown but more of a purpley color that I wasn't really wanting to get I wanted that distinct minty aqua color with that pink color but you know that's okay it's all good so I did not use any gesso on here I just sprayed it or I just added the media and did some sprinkles and I really like how it turns out um it's really simple but it just adds something kind of fun and I know I think it was somewhere on Pinterest I had seen somebody maybe Wilna and a couple other people had a background that was similar to this and it really just kind of was like oh that looks fun that looks like something easy that I can do so I can't take full credit for it but, you know, I think that's how, kind of how scrapbooking is, right? We see stuff on Pinterest, and that's what it's there for. It's to inspire us. I mean, I get inspired by looking at Pinterest, by looking at stuff on Facebook, and just like you guys do. Just We all do. And I think that just how we interpret it and use it on our own pages is just half the fun. So, so now I'm just kind of... Figuring out how many layers I want, where I want this. I kind of fooled around with this a little bit. Actually, I took some of this out because I moved it around a few times. I had a hard time just figuring out how many layers. And I will say that while I was doing this, this was before I left for New York and for New York. And um, see, because here I go, I changed it again. <laughs> um. I was like really in this mojo thing slump and I hate that I hate when you want to scrap but you go and you sit down and you just you can't do it like I would even I was even taking layouts and like trying to scrap lift and still not coming up with what I wanted or something that I was liking so I was surprised that this one actually kind of came out and I think the key was that I took a picture that really didn't ha it has a story but it's not a story that is going to you know tell something amazing about our life except for that this is where we live we live in Hawaii this is was taken of a <clears throat> um the peacock at the Dole Plantation. So we went to the Dole Plantation a while ago with some friends and we've been trying to do stuff with, we have a, a family of friends that we really enjoy hanging out with and we've been trying to do stuff once a month with them because we know we're going to be leaving soon. So we went to the Dole Plantation and there was this peacock and they let the peacocks and the chickens just run around. That's how it is here. And it's really amazing because you can see them and they're so gorgeous. And I'm trying to get a picture of this bird, and he just, every time I go to take the picture, he starts grooming himself. I'm like, ah! I mean, seriously, I was so, I was getting so aggravated because he kept going into, like, where it was really shady, so it was hard to get a decent picture, but I just kept trying to take a few pictures, and so I feel like I need to scrap it because I was so irritated. I was like gonna get a picture of this I mean and you can still see the blues and the greens in his coat or in his feathers and stuff and he is a gorgeous bird and I got really close so so now I have a story about 
a peacock. And I think sometimes that taking that pressure off of telling this amazing story that you think you need to tell or scrapping a picture that really means something to you can kind of take that pressure off of having to have your layout be perfect. And so I use a lot of the Maggie Holmes Bloom stuff and some of the Pink Paisley Say La Vie stuff. There's a lot of frames in that die cut pack that I was looking at and I have the hardest time, but I just really played with them. I was like, okay, I'm going to go with the frames, even though I have the hardest time using them. And so I'm using some of the chipboard pieces and some of the puffy stickers from the Bloom collection or the Shine collection. That's not the Bloom collection, the Shine before. I really like that collection. I haven't used that much of it. And then those were from Fancy Pants Happy Place. And so I'm just adding some stuff to just kind of add some bits and pieces. I'm finding that this year the stuff that I'm attracted to or the stuff that's coming out is a lot different than the stuff from last year. I'm not layering as many die cuts as I was. Um, I'm using a lot of other pieces like puffy stickers or chipboard instead of using like a lot of other layered elements. And so, it, and maybe that's part of just finding what is going to work best for me and what is popular. And I mean, and that's not a bad thing. So, you know, I mean, we all go through times where it's harder to scrap because we want to be outside because it's nice and sunny or, you know, I mean, it's starting to get nice out. Well, sort of, right? Because it's March. <laughs> in theory, depending where you live, when I was in New York, it was freezing, guys. Let me tell you, I was freezing. I wish that Wi-Fi and it wasn't so crazy because I would have vlogged a whole lot more because there were so many funny things just about that whole experience, but I'll share that when I show all my pictures. But yeah, so I ended up also going to New York because my aunt had died unexpectedly, and so we made it happen. So that was not planned, and that, but I think that really also helped. It helped change my perspective. So, okay, back to the layout because what I'm talking about has nothing to do with the layout. So you just seen me just kind of finish off with some of those pieces. I used a lot of those word phrases, phrases and just little bits of the ephemera. And now I'm just putting that line around the outside. It's really going to draw your eye in. I really just felt like it needed something. And I did it a few times, so it looks really sketchy. I really like the way that this turned out. So there I did my journaling. I cut my head out because most of it was just my head. And I finally got Heidi Shine in gold after, I don't know what was taking me so long, guys, because I could have just bought it before. But I think I was trying to avoid getting the three pack and just getting gold. But I really like the way that those gold splatters look. So here are some close-ups, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope that if you guys are in my situation where it's just really hard to scrap, you know, sometimes I think just playing around and having fun is part of it, and I think sometimes just sometimes you just got to take pictures. I took so many pictures while I was away, guys, and I think that really, really helped. It helped me get my focus back of why I'm doing what I'm doing and why I love it. So I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you guys later. I am going to be having tons of stuff the rest of this month with Click Kits. So I will be seeing you guys later. Have a great week. Bye.